All right, folks, it's your boy Nightmare, Twisted Nightmare Gaming, once again, coming back at you with another deck profile. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It, it is going to be, it's going to be the Dino Wrestler deck. Um, the vast majority of this deck is going to be the Dino Wrestlers. I do run at least one copy of every single Dino Wrestler monster that has come out to this point in the U.S. Um... I do run some a few of the other dinosaur monsters. You'll you'll know them, but it's very a minuscule amount to where you can still say it's pretty much a pure dino wrestler deck because those just really help get these out. Um so let's get started. I run two Capitera uh Capitaris. Three Capera Raptor, two of the Tuna Coastlat, three Escrimimenchi, two Marshall Angus, three Panky Panky. Cat and Pop Ass, Panko Chops, Three Sistegosaur. These are the ratios I chose. Most people that I've seen are only running one cold slat. I'm running two, even though his effect is once per duel, but you can still special summon him without his effect. Um. So, yeah, he's in here. Um, there's a reason why I'm only running two of them. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, for the non-dino wrestler dinosaurs, we have two baby Sarasaurus. Because he's back at three, we're going to use him at three. Three miscellaneousaurus. One critique Pteranodon and to round off the monsters. The only non dinosaur in this entire freaking deck. You should have seen it coming because he does fall with the majority theme of everything, pretty much everything except for miscellaneous sores being Earth. I think there might be a light in here somewhere. No, nope, everything else is Earth. So, I mean, Glow Up Bulb was kind of. Self explanatory, to be honest with you. Um, you know me, I like order with this, some order to go with my chaos, so I'm going to put these back in order because if I need to pull stuff out, it does make it a lot easier for me to just pull it out. And just to recap on Coastalat's effect, um, if you control no monsters, you special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, this card cannot be used as a link summon except for the link summoning of a Dino Wrestler monster. You can only special summon one Coastalat per duel this way. That effect. If you control no monsters. But, you know, you're normally going to control Dino Wrestlers, so. Yeah, that, that that effect probably will not um, be used, at least by me. Um, On to the spells. One Foolish Burial. Goods. Triple Fossil Dig. Lost Reborn. Rikaki. Upstart. Terra Farming, Triple World Battle Wrestling, and because I am who I am, I run three different fusion cards. I run Flash Fusion, which destroys the monster that you use to fusion summon uh, at the end of the turn. Super Poly, which is kind of self-explanatory. 
and the actual archetype tyrant down on wrestling. Um, that's it for the spells. And as you've noticed, I did. I was running a central theme of keeping this as cheap cost-wise as, as possible. Uh, for, for the main deck, the most expensive card in the main deck actually is the Regeki and the Upstart Goblin. Foolish Burial Good Secret Rare, I believe, was sitting at like three, maybe four off of TGG. I don't remember because I bought mine from the local card shop here in Orlando. So I think I paid like six or seven and change, but I do have one that I bought from TCG back when it was like seven. Uh, five traps, double back to the front, and triple punch in the box. Uh, that's it. Um, I, as you see, I don't run hand traps, so my opponent's gonna get to pretty much get their plays off as much as possible. I have absolutely no problem with that. This deck's focus is more so to stifle you from attacking in general. So, um, so going with the central theme of cost, basically being cost effective as hell. Uh, let's keep this going. Triple of the fusion, Chimera T Re uh, Rexel. Um, it has the most prevalent card, I'd probably say, that has the same base effect. The If it attacks, opponent can't use spells or traps until the damage step. Um, Ancient Gear, Golem, and Ultimate Pound. Um, apply Piercing Damage if it attacks a defense position monster. Um, your opponent can't target any other monster on the field except for this with attacks. Um, if this card is destroyed by battle, uh, if this card destroys a monster by battle, it gains 500 attacks. If it's destroyed by card effect, destroy all face-up attacks position monsters my opponent controls. Um, triple King T-Rex duel, which it has two of the same base three of uh, two of the same base attack uh, effects. Uh, it's a link three requires two uh, two plus Dino Wrestler monsters. Uh, Chimera requires a link a Dino Wrestler link monster and a Dino Wrestler. Um, this one has the if it attacks, opponent can activate spells and traps until the end of the damage step. Uh, your opponent's monsters can't target monsters uh, for attacks except this card. Um, at the start of the battle, uh, your opponent's battle phase, you can target one attack position monster they control. Um, and during that battle phase, that uh, if your, your opponent must attack using that monster first, and if it doesn't, Destroy the monster at the end of the battle phase. Um, then we have three of t uh, Terra Parkourio. And its effect is to link to 1000 attack, requires two Dino Wrestling monsters. If you activate World Dino Wrestling, you can target one Dino Wrestling monster in your graveyard, uh, add it to your hand. If this card is sent to your graveyard as link material for a Dino Wrestler monster in your graveyard, um, special summon it in defense position but negate its effects. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for Dino Wrestler monsters. You can only use this effect of uh, Terra Parcurio once per turn. And then, uh, Three of Giga Spinavate. Uh, 
Um, it uh, requires one Dino Wrestler tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. Um, so it requires Coastlat, but then any then the rest of the requirements can be any any other uh, monsters. Um, it discards battle. Can't the opponent can't use spells or traps until the uh, end of the bet in the damage step. The opponent's monsters can't target monsters for attacks except for this. Uh, once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy one card you control instead. And then the last three cards I just thought would go hand in hand with this deck. Um, seeing as how <laughs> that one they're all earth monsters two they were uh they're relatively generic except for one of them but it requires earth monsters to bring it out so reaper Docus, leo and notoria beast you should have figured Notoria Beast was going to be in here simply because damn near every monster in this deck is Earth. And I run Gloat Bulbs primarily because of that as well. I think the main non Earth Dino Wrestler is Capoterra. That's it. That's the, that's the main one. In fact, that is the only non-Earth one that's a, it's a win. But, I mean, so you're talking out of like 20, 22 monsters, five of them are not Earth. The rest of them are Earth. So, this requires two monsters, and this is just one tuna, one or more non tuner So, generic, generic, generic. Locked to Earth. So that's the uh, main deck. Uh, let's go ahead and get. That's the main and the extra deck. Let's go ahead and go to the side deck. Just give me one second. Let me get this organized again. So, my side deck is kind of a work in progress, but the 15 that I'm using, I kind of do like using in it for the time being. The third Capitera. Cataster. Um, Dark Rebellion. Cowboy, Triple Twin Twisters, Twin Titties, whatever you want to call it. Um, just, I'm kind of tired at this point. Um, double Crackdown, Triple Drowning Mirror Force, Double Lost Wind, and Judgment. Like, things, while I continue testing, things will probably get switched out, switched around. I think one of the main things I am going to keep in here is Crackdown, because it kind of works for what I want to do with it. Uh, Catastro is more likely going to stay in here, um, but I am probably going to do away with Gaga Gaga Cowboy and... Gaga Cowboy, Cap the Third, Capitera, and Dark Rebellion, and Light of a Solemn Package. Not Solemn Package, but um, Utopia Package. But, folks, that was it. That was the deck profile for, for updated um, base Dino Wrestlers. Um, 
if anything does change, you know me, you know me well enough to know that I will update it again and again and again and again. Um, I will probably do a 60 car version with some more of the other dinosaur stuff that I didn't have in here. Primarily, you, you're probably going to see Kaiju's added in here. Um, I don't particularly need Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but I, it doesn't hurt to use them in here, so you might see one make an appearance. Um, I'm probably not going to run Quatless in um, Evolution Pill. Um, probably not going to run Giant Rex and um, Gold Star. But you will more than likely see a whole slew of kaijus and, um, what do you call it, uh, slumber. Yeah, that. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. This has been Nightmare, Twisted Nightmare Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to go check out, uh, a lot of my, my, a lot of our friends' pages. Uh, Lunastar103 for all your... Power Ranger and um, for the life of me, my brain is kind of stupid right now. Um, Ninja Turtles reviews. Um, in fact, she's gonna be. She and I will be actually at MegaCon down here in Orlando this weekend on Saturday, the 18th. I will probably be there Friday, just chilling, walking around. Um, since I'm off work and my dumb ass bought deluxe passes instead of just the one days so yeah that, that was a decent amount of money down the drain but I'm not I'm not gonna let them go to waste so I might as well run it at least two or four days because I know I ain't going Sunday and I definitely ain't going Thursday so but um uh, don't forget to go check out my homegirl KC13's page, uh, Wrestling Geeks on Fleek, almost at 10k subs. Uh, definitely go, you know, throw a sub to her, go like her, you know, follow, you know, watch her, her, what, basically her, what she does when she goes to wrestling shows. And, I mean, it's, it's great. It's great what you see from from our perspective as fans and stuff, um, and interacting with the wrestlers and everything, because um, I know a lot of them do enjoy it, and a lot of them do shout her out. Um, Evolution of Pro Wrestling for wrestling it for wrestler interviews. That's my boy. I'm trying to get him uh, higher up on the pole too. Um, he hitting the struggle just like I am. I just started before he did. That's really about it. Only reason why I'm I'm a little bit ahead of him on the subs is because I started a few months. I started a couple of months before he did. Myself and uh, Twisted. Um, that's really about it right now. Um, like I said, just. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell for all future notifications. Uh, like I said in previous videos, I'm just going to keep saying it. I got a lot of deck profiles coming out over the next two months, three months, three and a half, maybe four. Like, you were probably going to have um, deck profile overload from me because. June, I know June alone, I think it's 12 or 13 profiles. And three of them dropping in the same day, which is uh, the 100 sub special, the uh, triple low tier for life feature. Which may end up being five in that week because just depending on how I'm feeling. And if Twisted wants to get in on the action, if he's not busy. Um... Um, if myself and Lunastar decide to go in on the, um, the next Legendary Duelist set, which is, I know all, like, 
a lot of the main, a lot of the protagonists is, uh, a lot of the antagonists in the show. Because I know Bakura is in this, in the next one. Um, and two other people. Oh, uh, Supreme King Jaden, uh, Yuki Judai, which I have no problem with because I actually loved er Evil Heroes. So I may actually go back through and rebuild the Evil Hero deck that I had. Or I may just upgrade the Evil Hero deck with some of the, with a lot of the newer stuff as well. And blow that out the water as much as I want. Um, and then, you know, the Mega Tens and Battles of Legend. I know both myself and Lunastar 10 3 are going to be doing a lot of stuff off of those. Um, and then, I think it's what, Raging Rampage? It comes out or Rising Rampage, whatever the hell it's called. The set that comes out in August as well, and then whenever Revolver's um, deck comes out, then I'm gonna profile that. I'm gonna build my own version of that too. Um, and because it's me, you will more than likely not see any guard dragons in it. That's what makes it low tier, folks. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You know I tend to go against the meta. That's why I'm probably going to start rocking that dark. Uh, we're playing uh, the Dino Wrestlers a lot more often than what people think. Just to piss people off. That's why I ran Gravekeepers for so long. It's anti-meta. It's trolly as shit. And people hate it. People see Necro Valley and... And Necro Valley is the stuff of damn nightmares against a lot of meta. Because if you can't touch your graveyard, you dead in the water. Um, I do have a Mystic Mind Burn deck coming up. But, you know, it's going to be my version of it. So it's not going to look exactly the same as everybody else's. Because I am who I am. And that's all I could ever be. So, um, this is, uh, again, Nightmare, Twisted Nightmare Gaming, signing off. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day.